Hi, I'm Anissa Oman, and I'm the skipper of a, Wentz, of a Sea Scout troop in Bray County Wicklow, where we're known as Fifth Wicklow Bray Sea Scouts. And Anissa. this is my 60 second um, <laughs> 60 second scouter. What got you started in scouting? So I was a venture scout when I was 16 and really enjoyed it. I loved the outdoors and I was always envious of the sea scouts. So when we moved to where I live, I'm not too far from a sea scout troop and I would often pass the gates of the scout then. So I had a I have a son who is now 22 and he would have been about 12 or 13 at the time. So when I seen the leaders in the scout, then I, you know, was chatting and they're saying, oh, yeah, put his name down. But as with scouting, if you want to get your child into scout, you normally need to become a leader. Um, now, I initially wasn't asked to be a leader, but uh, when he he was given um, a slot in the scouts, <clears throat> Um, but I got very envious of all the water activities that he was doing. So I put myself forward if they uh, any chance to take me in like kind of job. So that's how I started. I'm 10 years with the troop now. And um, I'm, I've got 29 scouts at the moment on my Wednesday nights. And it's a mixed troop. What's the best thing about Ireland? The best thing about Ireland is the people. What's your favourite book? I kind of like to read some of these, um, you know, the uh, Bushcraft SAS Survival <laughs> actually would be one of my, uh, the books I'd have, or okay. um, foraging or that kind of stuff. What three words would your friends use to describe you? Loud. <laughs> Let's see. Um, uh, probably bubbly. Mm -hmm. and um, kind-hearted. What was your best adventure in scouting? Oh, this is easy. I have oh, a few, it? but I have a really good one. So in 2015, I organised a trip for 25 of us to go to the Arctic Circle in Finland and camp uh, with Finnish troop, like a jamboree with about, I think we probably had about 5,000. So we went from Dublin to um, Helsinki, then from Helsinki to Oulu, which is the gateway to the Arctic Circle. And then we got a bus, which was like two hours long. And we went to Easter time. So their Easter is a bit of a combination of like Halloween and Easter mixed in together. Yeah, it's a bit odd. And then we camped in round, we, had to, we arrived at the site. And they handed us a shovel and they said, you need to dig the hole to put your tent in. So we had to dig about six foot down and probably about 10 or 12 foot wide, a circle, and put our tent in it. And then we had a, a wood burning stove in it. And then at night time, we would take turns doing night watch. And it was to keep the fire going to keep us warm. Wow. And then I bivied, we built a snow cave. <clears throat> and sorry, the kids built a snow cave. My son being one of them, and they bivied for the night in it and not want to be outshone by the kids. Myself and one of the scout leaders decided, yeah, no problem. We'd bivy in it the next night. Anybody that tells you igloo, igloos are warm? No, they're not. They're lying. Who inspires you? I'd say um, the reason I got so involved in scouting I'd say it would be because of my venture leader when I was 16 was so good. Okay. It kind of was inspirational. Yeah. What's one thing you'd like to be remembered for in scouting? I do a lot of voluntary work with Mountain Rescue, uh, Dublin Wicklow Mountain Rescue, and I'm, I'm very much involved with um, um, clean, uh, clean coast, like doing litter picking when we're out kayaking. Oh, so nice. conservational kind of stuff. How do you look after your mental health? Oh, I don't get time to stop. 
So, do you know, like in Ireland, they have like the five pill. There's five pillars to do with your mental health. Yeah. And one of them is like exercising. Well, I don't really exercise, but I'm always kept very busy. And um, I, I'm very active. Uh, what is the best game you've done in scouting? It's a game that we sometimes play when we're on um, boats, like sailing. Mm. And it's called Killer. So it's a bit like Cluedo. Okay. So everybody, so everybody on the boat, so I have three say cups. Everybody's name goes into one cup. And um, the way the person or the instrument that they be killed with goes into another cup. And then in the last cup, we would put what part of the boat they have to be killed in. Oh. So it might be they were killed while in the bowsprit at the front of the boat with a packet of biscuits <laughs> because everybody gets, so you pick one from each. So it could, you never know what it is. It'd be very random or it could be um, kill somebody in the heads or the toilets with a toothbrush. And you have to get that certain person into the heads and get a toothbrush in there or, and the person that you're meant to kill. Wow. So it could take it. It doesn't have to be done all in the one day. So sometimes we'll, we might, so, you know, if you go away sailing for a few days, yeah, you could um, play the game over the course of a few days. What's yeah. your favorite meal on a camp? Fajitas, because um, it's very easy to do a vegan fajita, vegetarian fajitas, and meat fajitas. All you have to do is, is change the protein. What's your favorite hobby? Sailing. And finally, this is it. Uh, what does scouting mean to you? Being part of a big family and being maybe that one adult that, that some child could, um, just being there for some children, you know, that might need you. Just being there, one adult, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's hard to describe, but yeah, being part of a family.